In this video, I would like to show you how OSINT investigators can investigate a Tinder account and find information about the user who is registered on Tinder. Now, please keep in mind that all what we are doing is called OSINT or open source intelligence. So we are basically gathering information from publicly available resources and the person is already aware of their publicly available information. So we are not accessing anything private. All the information that we are saying are public information that are already on the internet. So what we are going to do in this video is that we are going to visit a Tinder account and from there we are going to try and find more accounts that belong to this person. And this might reveal some additional information like their personal email address, where they work and their certifications and much, much more. With all being said, let's get started. All right, so here we have a Tinder account that's called Marcel. So the first thing we are going to do is to just read the information that we are seeing and put it on a notepad. So we can see that this person is registered on Marcel and they use this username. So you might check on which websites this person uses this username using multiple methods that I've already talked about in previous videos. We can see that this person is called Marcel and they are 39 years old. They are a software engineer at this university. So we have their first name, age, what they are doing and in which university they have studied. So the first thing we are going to do is to identify the name of the university because this is the first time I see this. So I'm going to go to Google and search for this university and we can see that this university is from Brazil and it's this one. So I can copy it and go to my notepad and add it in here. I'm also going to copy the full URL of the person's profile and here we can see the person's face or their picture. What we can do is that we can download their picture and perform a reverse image search or search for their face using AI, which is something that we have already covered in previous videos. So if you would like to download this image, all you have to do is just right mouse click and then click on inspect. And then you can click on this little arrow and then hover over their picture, click on it and then you are going to get the full URL in here. So let me copy it and put it in my notepad so that I can clean it and only take what's important. So I'm going to remove this and now we have the full URL. I'm going to copy it and put it in a new tab. And as we can see, this is the person profile picture. I'm going to download it to my computer so that I can use it later. And then I'm going to come back to the person's profile. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to see their exact date of birth. And if you would like to do this on Tinder, all you have to do is just right mouse click and then click on view page source. After you do this, you want to hold the control and F keys and then search for the word birth. And here we will see their full date of birth, which is January 1st, 1985. I'm going to copy it and put it in here. I'm also going to copy that they are a software engineer and that they use the name Marcel. Now, since we know the person's name and where they are working and where they have studied, the best platform that we can use to search for this person is Facebook or LinkedIn. Now, I'm going to search for this person in LinkedIn because I've already searched for it. And I'm going to add the person's name first and then hit enter. And then I'm going to filter my search results by clicking on people. And then I'm going to click on all filters to filter the search result. So we know that this person is in Brazil or from Brazil because the university is in Brazil. So I'm going to assume that the person is from Brazil. And then I'm going to specify the university. So I'm going to scroll down and then click on add school and then copy the name of the university, which is this one and put it in here and then I'm going to select it. So after this, you want to click on show results. And here we will see that there is a person called Marcel and the last name start with M. And this seems to be the same person that we are looking for. And they are also a senior staff software engineer. So this information matched the information that we have already gathered, 
we can see where they are working and that they have studied in the university that we have already found on the internet. Now let's say that you would like to find the person's full name and we can see that the first name is already visible but the last name is only partially visible. So what you can do is read if they have written any comments or posts because sometimes you might be able to find their names. But the problem is that this is going to be very time consuming because if we want to post, we can see that they, uh, they post a lot of things or repost a lot of things, but we cannot find their information. And I've already went through some of the posts and didn't find her name. So if we scroll down a little bit, you might read some of this and find something that is interesting. But when I scrolled down, I saw some certifications and normally certifications contain or, or has the person's full name. So what we can do is click on show certifications and then click on show credentials to see the full certification of this person. So here we can see the full name of this person we can copy it and add it to our notes. So now we know where they are working, what they are working, their date of birth, their Tinder profile, and their LinkedIn profile. So let me come back and copy it like this. And we can see that the username that they are using in their LinkedIn profile is actually in the URL. So that's why it's very important to examine all the information that you find. And please do not neglect the URL because it contains a lot of information that might be hidden on the page itself. Another place that you can look in to find some information about the person's name, for example, if you scroll down, you can see the recommendations and you might be able to find the person's full name. Now, here we can see that this person mentioned Marcel, but they did not mention their full name. So Keep this in mind because you might be able to find their full name in one of these recommendations or in one of these comments. Now, since we have the person's full name, we can copy the name and search for it on Facebook, search for it on Google and see what kind of information we can get. I always like to search for the person's full name in two quotation marks and add the company where they are working or the city where they are right now. So. What I can also do is go to images and see if this person has a picture on the internet. So by looking at these pictures, we can see this one. And this seems to be the same person that we are searching for. So we can see a different username than the one that we have seen before. We can copy it and add it to our notes. And then we can examine this profile later. We can also search for these three usernames in What's My Name or using any other tool like Sherlock. Now, of course, we can keep doing this until we find more and more profiles about this person and see what they like, what they don't like, their online reviews, their email addresses, phone numbers, and much, much more. But this is only an approach or a methodology that you can use when you are searching for a person. Of course, this is only a YouTube video, so I cannot add a lot of information in one YouTube videos because as you know, not many people watch long form videos. And that's why I like to only keep my videos very short so that the viewers can stay and watch the video until the end. If you are still watching, thank you so much for watching. And if you know any other methodologies or any suggestions, then please put them in the comment and I'll read them and I'll be more than happy to make a whole video about this. Now, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.